Hi guys, welcome back to the new playlist. So in this playlist, you will be going to see how to implement Google sign in using Firebase in Jetpack Compose. So first I have created, so in this video, you will be seeing how to connect Firebase to your application. So I have created an empty Compose project and then go to your settings and then inside the plugins folder you have to cross check firebase services has been enabled or not so it's a default it should be defaultly enabled but you just cross check and then go to the top right corner of your android studio and then check if you have connected your google account or else you need to connect add your account and then after successfully adding your account and then go to the tools and then go to the firebase and then yeah you can see these are all the tools that firebase gives to you to develop okay and then we'll be going to authentication because in this you can go go with implementing google sign in facebook sign in etc etc so we will be going to use this authentication so we'll click authenticate using google sign in kotlin so you can see you need to first uh, the so it has been described the steps which you need to be followed while using this firebase so yeah you can see what are all the steps and then it has been given all the setup code that you need to be initialized before using the firebase okay okay and then let's connect our account And then Firebase console has been open. Okay, you can see a new project, or else you can add with your existing project too. You know, right? You can add your existing project to multiple applications. So after adding, so I have added a new project. So and then click continue. You need to select your location. And then uh, you need to accept the terms and conditions. If you want, you can cross check those. Okay, wait until the project is created. Okay, our project is ready. We continue. okay our project is created we need to connect our android studio to the firebase okay so let's connect so our project is connected to our firebase android application now we can use a firebase in our project so and then you can see it's connected and you also got a pot up pop up that it's already connected to firebase project okay and then if you want you can also cross check that so we'll reload the page you can see our project has been connected So this this won't connect because we have already connected okay let's go back to android studio we'll see what are the next steps we need to do okay we'll add the firebase authentication 
that's our second step so these dependencies will be added to our gradle plugins so this will be added inside our build.gradle folder file okay gradle syncrosin process okay and then done and then you can see what's the next step we need to specify our apps sha1 fingerprint so if you want you can also refer that link which has been given and then next you need to enable the google inside the firebase sign in method so we'll open the firebase console so to enable our google sign in so click on the sign in method it will redirect to our project in firebase console okay and then open our project okay you can see sign in methods available over here so authentication so you can also see the guide how to get started etc over here so you can also watch this video and then you'll have an idea on how to enable this okay and then you can see here are all the methods so we'll go with the google and then enable this you need to give your official project support email so i have given mine and then save okay done then we need to download our google services.json file which is already present there in our project settings okay you can cross check this it's enabled and then go to the project settings you can see our project name id etc and then here in this sdk setup and configuration you can see google services.json file and then download this file copy this file from your folder go to your android studio and then click project inside this project just paste your google json it should be already default uh, present uh, i mean after connecting your firebase but sometimes it doesn't so we will do this now so you can see google services dot json has been pasted okay so yeah json file has been successfully pasted here and then go to our firebase console we need to add our sha1 key over here so for that we'll be going to our gradle at the right, top right corner go inside the task we'll be create a uh, android so inside this android click signing report so you can see in it has been done and then you can see the sha1 key present over here so just copy the key okay this is for the debug key and if you want uh, to use the release key you need to generate the release key later on from your project okay so and then so the key has been set up okay and then yeah that's it for today and then okay we'll run our application to check if everything is working fine and no error has been occurred
and then install the application you can see our application has been launched successfully and then in the next video you will be going to see how we will implement the google sign in the process so keep watching the series uh, subscribe to my uh, youtube account so that you can get notified on my next videos so we'll be seeing you in the next video until then i wish you an awesome day bye bye